There is not a single piece of advice that I or anyone else could have given my 15-year-old self that she would have listened to. <laughs> um, so let me just begin it. <laughs> let me just begin it with that. Um, and I've thought about this a lot because I, I spend a lot of time reflecting back on, on my life. And like many of us, I spend a lot of time rewriting the past. Um, I'm sure you all do it too. Um, when That's kind of my screensaver. When my mind goes dull, I'll find myself thinking about like, you know what I should have done? You know what I should have said? You know who I shouldn't have married? You know who I... Um, <laughs> You know, uh, and, and actually, I wrote a poem about this the other day because I thought, why do I fixate on this so much? Why is it so much that I want to go back and, and fix and alter and perfect, to use a word that I'm totally against in a creative sense, but I keep trying to do it in my personal life where I want to I go back and rehab that conversation and win, you know, or I want to throw him out on that date and not wait another three <laughs> years, or I want to, you know, like, I just want to go back and iron out the whole thing. And yet, where does that, what always comes at the end of that fantasy, right? Because it is a fantasy about having known something that you could not have yet known, mm. right? Um, I should, you just always want to have known things before you knew them. And, uh, and to use a very complicated, tense structure. Um, and I thought that story, the problem with that story is it has a beautiful resolution in that moment of that scene that I perfect. Mm. But then the future becomes a very different future than the one I'm in right now, which is just where I'm meant to be. And I really do live by this, that beautiful Rumi poem that said, long ago, God circled on a map where you are standing right now. And that means that all of those places, all of those mistakes, you know, were, were essential. And so the poem was me talking to my 15 year old self saying, I'm afraid given the choice to go back in time and tell you to do it differently, I have no choice but to go back and tell you to do it exactly the same way. Mm. Um, and you're just gonna have to keep doing that. And I feel like what we want when we ask that question is to create girls who don't have bad things happen to them. Mm -hmm. Because it was so painful for us when those bad things happened to us. And yet, how can she become if you don't let her have those bad things happen? Mm -hmm. And so what I would say to my 15-year-old is just go do it all. Mm -hmm. Go do everything that I'm gonna regret you doing. <laughs> <laughs> go do it all, take notes, and meet me back here when you and I become this person who we need to be. Mm.